So the treatment options for asthma can be divided into three categories. The first category is of avoidance of asthma triggers, which means that uh, this would include trying to avoid those things in the environment that child is allergic to or avoiding irritants such as smoke exposure or avoiding outdoor activities during high air pollution days or avoiding other possible individual triggers. The second category is of use of conventional asthma medications. And they are of two types. One is called as needed asthma medication, which are to be used only on those days when child is experiencing asthma symptoms. And the other one is daily long-term preventative asthma medications, which are to be given daily, even on the days that the child does not have symptoms. When these medications are given daily, they provide overall control to asthma and decreases the frequency and severity of future asthma symptoms. One of the unique thing about asthma medications are that most of these medications are inhaled treatment, which means child does not swallow it into the stomach, but rather breathes it into their breathing tube so that the medications goes directly and quickly where it is needed. And the third category of treatment option for asthma include immune-based treatment, one of which is allergy shots, which are usually given to children with mild asthma who also happen to have severe nose or eye allergies. And now there are few other new immune-based shots which, uh, uh, which uh, interfere with various immune cells which are involved in asthma and is given to children with severe asthma whose symptoms are not controlled on conventional asthma medications.